Hello Bright Minds, welcome back to another informative session. Today we will be discussing a key law that plays an essential role in maintaining industrial harmony and ensuring the rights of workers in India, the Indian Industrial Disputes Act of 1947. The Industrial Dispute Act was passed in 1947 to resolve disputes between employers and workers and to promote industrial peace. Before this act, disputes often led to strikes, lockouts or disruption of work. The act aimed to create a legal framework where both parties, that is employers and employees, could resolve their issues amicably. Now let's start with the main objectives of the act. The first one is to prevent and settle industrial disputes effectively. Second one, to promote industrial harmony by providing mechanisms for, for dispute resolutions. The next one is to ensure fair treatment of workers and safeguard their rights. And Fourth one is to maintain industrial productivity by preventing strikes and lockouts without proper procedure. So in simple words, the act aims to ensure that conflicts do not disrupt business operations or negatively impact workers rights. Key terms or key definitions. Now let us understand some important terms under the act industrial dispute. Any disagreement between employers and workers related to employment, work condition or labor policies. Next one is strike. A situation where employees stop working as a form of protest. Lockout. A scenario where the employer prevents workers from entering the workplace to enforce certain demands. Authorities under the Industrial Dispute Act 1947. To resolve industrial disputes, the act provides several authorities. Let us take a quick look at them. First one is Works Committee. This committee is set up in establishments with 100 or more workers. It promotes better relationship between employers and employees by resolving everyday grievances. Second one is conciliation officers. They are appointed by the government. They act as mediators to help the parties settle disputes amicably. Next is board of conciliation. If the conciliation officer cannot resolve the issue, this board steps in with multiple members to mediate. Next one is labor courts. These courts handle disputes related to issues like wrongful dismissal, wage disputes and working conditions. Industrial tribunals. Tribunals handle large and more complex dis uh, disputes such as those involving retrenchment, elements or closures. And the last one is National Industrial Tribunal. When a dispute affects multiple states or is of national importance, this tribunal takes over. Now let us see what is the difference between strikes and lockouts. Strikes and lockouts can seriously disturb the economy. So the act strictly regulates them. Now talking about strike, workers must give a notice before going on strike. Similarly, employers must give a notice before declaring a lockout. So this ensures that both parties get a chance to resolve the issue before stopping the work. Strikes and lockouts are illegal during conciliation or adjudication proceedings. 
layoffs, retrenchment and closure. The Act also governs layoff, retrenchments and the closure of establishments. In establishments employing 100 or more workers, the employer must seek government permission before laying off employees or shutting down operations. So this protects workers from sudden un unemployment and ensures that employers follow due process. Dispute resolution process. So how does this dispute resolution process work? It typically begins with conciliation where parties are encouraged to reach a settlement. If this fails, the dispute is referred to labor courts or industrial tribunals depending on the complexity of the issue. Remember, the goal of the act is to resolve issue without causing unnecessary disruption to business or the livelihood of the workers. In conclusion, the Industrial Dispute Act 1947 plays a pivotal role in safeguarding the rights of both employers and workers in India, ensuring fair practices and promoting industrial peace. By providing structured methods to resolve disputes, it helps to avoid sudden strikes or lockouts that could harm both the industry and its employees. That's all for today's lesson. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Bright Minds with Anisha for more educational contents. Leave your questions in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. See you all in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.